In today's video I will present you this beautiful Adler model 32 from 1937 and as I already presented you the Adler's twin brother a few weeks ago or months ago, the Triumph Norm. Why do I say twin brother? Well, the model 32 and the Triumph Norm are more or less the same type, uh, typewriter, they are based on the same mechanics and there's just one difference and this is the spool housing, the cover here. As you can see, it's made out of bakelit, it's an old plastic type and as you can see it has a cubic design I think in my opinion and the Triumph Norm has a, a bit different design but the rest of the typewriter is more or less the same. And I already have a question to you, what do you prefer, the Adler Model 32 or the Triumph Norm? In my opinion it's definitely going to be the Adler 32 because I like the design a bit more than this Triumph Norm design but of course from a type action they are the same. Because I already showed you all the functionals in the Triumph Norm video, there are no big differences there, I'll just go over the functions really quick in this video. So here you have a normal keyboard, it has a 1 and no 0, on the right side you have backspace, on the left side you have your margin release. On the bottom left and right side you have your carriage, uh, your carriage shifting, as you can see on the right side is also the carriage lock. Now you can move the carriage and the carriage is shifting up when shifting of course. On the left side you have your color switch, there are three different color tones and right next to the color switch here you have your serial number so you don't have to search long time inside the typewriter below the carriage or even below the spools. You can see it immediately here. So that's it with the functions on the keyboard and as you can see there are a few decals here and here and uh, next to the platen and on the back of the typewriter but I'll show you those later. On the right and left side there are not any more functions. As I already mentioned the spool cover is different on the Adler 32. Uh, it uses regular German spools and a 30mm color ribbon. As you can see the typewriter is red and the spool on the left side is also red. Unfortunately I don't have a second red spool for the right side but at least I have a metal spool inside here. If you want to switch the rewrite direction you can move this lever to the left or right and that's how you move the rewrite direction. On the carriage you have your, of course your platen turning knobs on left and right side. If you turn them against clockwise you can remove the, car uh, the platen easily. Unfortunately my platen is rock hard so you have to use a few papers when you are typing but this isn't a real problem here. On the left, right side here you have your um, carriage release, there's also one on the left side and of course your paper release, you can easily push it to the front and that's how you release your paper. On the back you have two paper supporter and on the left and right side here you have a uh, a small window where you can see your margins. So let's see here you can easily adjust your margins as you like them. On the left side of the carriage you have of course you of course have your uh, line spacer, your line space adjustment, there are three different modes. And that's it with the functions. Now let's go over the typing. Uh, this was a quick review about the functions because I already showed them in the Triumph uh, norm video.
So this was a quick typing test. I know it wasn't really much, but it was enough to see how the typewriter types, I hope. So in my opinion, the Model 32 and the Triumph Norm are wonderful machines. They're typing pretty well for this age. And they're also looking nice, even in black, not in this beautiful red tone. They're still looking nice and yeah, I like them. So that's it with today's video. If you have the chance to buy one, you don't will make any mistake when you buy it. So that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. See you the next time.